When I was in the Labour Ministry as a legal advisor in 1974-75, up to 79 I was there, Ivan was former captain in 1949-50, Singapore captain, came to see me. I didn't know him. He said, somebody told me that you, you help people, <laughs> so can you please help us? I said, what do you want me to do? He said that all the retired footballers don't get income. They got no CPF. So we need to earn an income. Can you please help us? So then I thought of forming an association for these retired footballers who no longer play for Singapore, called the Ex-National Soccer Players Club. So we started playing Selangor versus Singapore, Malaysia versus Singapore, you know, different Pahang. All the old boys used to have games for them and raise some money. I used to give them $200 a game. Then Ivan was came to see me about his wife being bedridden with stroke and he wanted a, a hawker license. So he went to see his MP twice or three times. His MP wrote letters to HTB, he didn't get a hawker license. So he came to see me and said, can you please help me? I said, if the M MP who is a minister cannot get, how can I get? He said, something tells me you can help me, please help me. He said, they wouldn't move. So I rang up HTB legal department, Miss Wong, and spoke to her about the wife's condition and what he did for Singapore and his plight. She said, usually it's very difficult, very competitive to get in high block area. So you please tell me exactly, write to me exactly what you told me last 10 or 15 minutes. So I wrote and got medical reports all attached, went to see her. Within one hour, she got the Hawker license, Hawker Center license. All right, so he was making me rubus, <laughs> me going and supporting his wife. So like that, that association came quite a help, a handy to help the ex-footballers. That's not the only case, there were others who came to me for help. All right, then Apex Club, I, I started the Apex Club East because it is something that we do, we should do, charity. All right, collecting old clothes and sending it to areas where they need collecting newspapers, selling and get the money, you know, to do some charity. I think even in retirement, two things I would like to do. I would like to serve God uh, and help uh, people in the church and do some work in the church, in the community. Uh, I'm not the type who will just sit around doing nothing. I must be doing something and I must feel happy doing something for people or you know, the society, that's something I will do.